Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to some Let's Stream Civilization 6. We just got the Petra. Hmm, look at that. Look at how good that is. Need to get some mines. Our capital can hopefully carry us a little bit here because we are lacking in a few other ways. Um, we want to just eliminate Victoria, and we found Persia. Persia makes me nervous. Persia is, uh, yeah... Both these dudes have science already. Our military score isn't so bad, so maybe they won't be wholly aggro. Uh, but we have a whole bunch of teching up to do. And I also want to plan out the rest of our cities here while I'm while my brain is fresh enough in the morning. Oh, you know, we could put a Hansa here. That is true. We could utilize these tundra tiles instead, and and then like farms up here. That's better. That's a better plan. Okay. And then we've got Russia over here. They're 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 close. Um one one major priority right now is um Yeah, oh yeah, I'll catch you up, man. Um we we raised this, although I don't know I still don't know if that's a great idea. Um we have our city here. I kinda should have maybe put it here. Would have been interesting. A really good harbor. And then maybe better districts. But um, yeah, we raised that and we raised this too so that we could move it. Her capital is going to be quite good for us. Um, tentatively, we've got a couple districts and then possibly a Ruhr Valley here. She's got a fair amount of mines. Not crazy. In fact, over here we would have a ton of mines if we like raised this and put in a city there. That's an interesting idea. Attack them, raise, and then put like a city across the river here. Then they would have. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think the plan is to keep Zanzibar as is. They already have their commercial hub. So we would have to put the um, Hansa in one of these two spots, which is fine. It's maybe not perfect, but I think it's fine. My issue with this is that our cities are close enough together that we should be able to uh, to like double stack it where we've got commercial hubs touching, like two commercial hubs touching two Hansas, but I don't know. I guess we just have to live with it. We could technically get a city in there. I don't know. We did do a lot on your uh, drive home yesterday, yeah. Yeah, we, we got some work done. We got some early war done the way we the way we do. Yeah. I mean, ideally you don't raise your city states. You take them. I mean, we get a free district and you know, just goodness. But um this is a bit of an awkward continent trying to plan out our Hansas and things. All right, um, so we're technically working on a commercial hub here. I'm not sure that's the best use of our time. Wouldn't the Oracle be interesting as well? Um, let's, take, let's check in on great people, see what we need to catch up to. Rush is already working uh, a great engineer. And we are tentatively planning a space victory. So if we start merchants, we would um, potentially... I finish that commercial we potentially start working on that um, and then wow look at us guys turn 79 and great profits are still available one two three she got one so there's one left um, but we're gonna kill her so we may have a three religion game and then scientist points yeah we're we're behind here this is maybe maybe the direction we, we need to really strive for all right so let's um, I mean if nothing else we could do could do our Hansa, could throw in a commercial hub, and then put a harbor here. That way, that way it would benefit from the crabs and the adjacency gold bonuses and things. Um, Cause then they would boost each other. That's, that's not too bad. Kind of like that. And that way, um, once we get the farm on a hill technology, this could be a farming triangle. And then they have decent production. A couple mines. 
things like that. This could also be theoretically a campus district. Does it get? Yeah. I wish I wish this counted as a mountain. Does it, it looks like a um, looks like a campus here would be a little bit awkward. I mean, we could put it there. I guess that would be theoretically okay. Okay. Yeah, I really wish we could get some more overlapping districts. That would that would make me very very happy. So what does our capital need? It needs housing capacity. I may wind up buying them a granary, although they can produce really, really quick now, right? With the, uh, didn't mean to lock that or that. Um, yeah, with the, with the Petra here now, we may, I hope that we grow to these other hills soon because Petra hills, as it turns out, are pretty good, pretty darn good. So we, we want to build her here pretty quick. Eight turns until the commercial hub. And we can actually already start the industrial zone when we get there. So maybe we just get our districts here. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so we committed to the campus here. Which maybe in retrospect was a bad idea. Campus. Ooh, actually, it was a bad idea. I think I told you at the end of the day yesterday, I was just like, my brain is dead. My brain is dying now. We may have to raise Zanzibar, guys, just for district positioning. We could also move them over one. Because I think what I would like to do... So if that's the Hansa, Or it could be here. Oh, wait, maybe... Does this work out? No. Hansa could go here or here. Let's see. Let's do some district math. This might take a minute. Because I'm bad at math. It's not true. I was pretty good at math. Um, so a couple options. If we, if we attack Zanzibar and raise them. Now we're going to have to leave a war front here, right? Because we're scared of him. I think we, we maybe do want to get another city in here somehow. Could, we could maybe attack the city-state and put in our own city. And then put like a uh, an encampment down here. If we put a city here and put an encampment down there, that'd be really nice. That's, a, that's an option. And you could do your Hansa commercial hub. I don't hate it. All right. Um, yeah, I think Zanzibar needs to be moved. I hate to do that. But if they moved over one tile, we could do Hansa. It's a mine. I hate to give up a mine. Commercial hub. Mm, does this work? Do we have to go Hansa, Hansa, Hansa? Damn, it's a little bit awkward. I'm trying to double up our commercial hub bonuses. Damn, I don't see it. I mean, we can double up one of them, but ideally we'd double up both. Ah, crap. 
What are we doing over here? This should be maybe a little bit more simple. So we could do Hansa commercial hub and then boost that one for this for this city cuz we're going to be quite production starved over here. That wouldn't be too bad. And then that could be their uh, campus district. Kind of like that. That's not too bad. Because then you, we have a plus... Plus three Hansa for London. That's, that's okay. This is okay. Again, I hate to give up a mine, but... We might just need the campus to be there. Theoretically, the mine is better, right? Because Ruhr Valley? Let's take a look. Three percent production plus one production for each mine and quarry in the city. So this would be a mine, so this would be one production, which would be the same as giving this an, a second adjacency bonus. And the mine is overall going to be better, especially through the ages. So we could just not put our campus there and just put it here. I think I like that a little bit better. Wind up doubling up the... I mean, I think this is fine. Could also just override the rice. And then everything would get adjacency bonuses. So if we overrode the rice... <laughs> Flax eye, yeah. I think we're on the same page. If we... If we put it here... I know that the rice is nice, and this is a nice fa uh, farming triangle. It's a really good food base. Um, but then we would add a production of gold. We would add, it would be a plus four campus, or plus two campus, which is better than plus one. Then we would add, let's see, one, two. Then we would add another production here. And it wouldn't affect this commercial hub. Theoretically, we could do this. And then this could be like a theater square. And we would stack a lot of adjacency bonuses. But we give up the rice. I don't know if that's worth. We still have a farming triangle here, then. They have plenty of spot for, for food over here, so I'm not worried about Bremen. We'd have... A quadrant, actually, for farms. And then these are going to turn into mines. I mean, probably worth it. In the long run, just a high food tile isn't doing a ton for us because we're already population capped. And then this this gives a double adjacency bonus campus. I think I like this. It's a little bit weird because we're overriding a uh, bonus resource, but I think it's really good otherwise. This is a plus. Uh, oh, no, 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 but we need this resource to. So this resource. Okay, all right. Hold on, I almost forgot. This adds to production. So, it would add back in one, and it would add back in one. Yeah, that's technically better. Because even though this boosts this by one and this by one, it does the exact same thing and is a, is a better campus. And then, actually, that's all it does. It's literally the same difference then, isn't it? 
because this is worth two production. Doesn't actually add anything here. All right, never mind. It's a slightly worse campus. We, we trade a rice tile for plus one science. I don't think that's worth it. I think we'll keep the farms. No need for entertainment. I mean, we may need entertainment districts. Um, ideally, we could put it in this city, wherever it winds up going. I mean, actually, this doesn't do anything for us because we don't actually have the cities there. But one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, an entertainment district here affects like four cities, possibly Zanzibar. I don't know. We, yeah, we, we could we could use an entertainment district. It's certainly possible. But I think it'll be a little more centralized. And here we are 20 minutes in and I haven't even taken a turn. Are we moving Zanzibar? This is this is the one that's confusing the crap out of me. We shouldn't have started with the campus here, I don't think. I think that might have been a mistake. I think actually not having the city here was a was a mistake. Cuz we would have had I think we I think it would have been e easier to overlap. But okay, so our capital can produce settlers very very quickly. So we can crank out some cities here. We have 5. We want 6, 7, we could do 8. We could do 9, 10. We could do like 11 or so cities on this continent easily. And that doesn't even include over here. So, and we're only at turn 79, so it's not like we're super behind. However, our science is quite low. All right. Well, are we done with this turn? Did we take all of our shots? I think we did. Persia might take uh, that city state there. All right, we suffered a little bit more damage uh, because of the heavy chariot here. Can we take this yet? Dang. It's really annoying. Kind of have to shoot this, otherwise I think we'd die. Might die there anyways. so long to take this stupid city. Alright, let's see what Persia's got going on. They are a big aggro threat, especially with his bonus movement. I'm annoyed that they're in like every game we play. So what did the city heal for? 20? So we need to do more than 20 every turn. So do 8. 15, okay. We are net positive. We did 38 damage, so it's healing up half. Um, I don't want to shoot this, do I? Is it going to get a promotion? I mean, I can move here and shoot it next turn at least. I am not going to attack it. Okay, so we have a bunch of boosted stuff. We have our mathematics and our apprenticeship. That's actually what I meant. So we can get our Hansas. And we we really need a builder here, huh? Hansas a four turn plus six. Yes. Yes. Also, I just looked at my ceiling and there's like a spider web. Oh my god. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me, spider. Plus six, Hansa. Oh my god, give it to me. Um, right, we don't even need to finish that. I think next turn I'm going to buy him a builder. We're, we'll clear this. So many boosts. Absolutely, Cry. And how are you? How are you doing, Cry? Good to see you there. 
So plus one, plus one, two for the districts. That's three, four, five, six. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, our capital can really crank things out for us. But we need to figure out what first. Do we save our money just in case military units and upgrades are a thing? Very much want a builder. I want a builder because we're going to add even more production to these mines. We, this is unimproved. This is unimproved. So one, two, clear Hansa. Want the builder really, really bad. Yeah, I want that so bad. Then we just need to expand here. Capital is nuts. Then our capital can crank out literally anything we need. Well, figuratively anything we need. So, all right. What are we worried about? Where do we need to go? Obviously, getting education is good, but we, we mostly need to expand and plop down campus districts first. So rushing to education at this point doesn't really seem like a good good plan. I am all right. I'm better than all right. I'm great. I'm, I'm thrilled. Every day I wake up, I'm like, this is fun. This is fun. So we got two other people medieval with us. I've never even noticed this slider. Holy crap. Yeah, our culture is pretty bad. Hey, Kagan. How you doing, man? I'm so happy you're back. Good to see you, man. All right. I think let's let's work on military then. Let's let's get up to crossbows. Um just in case we have to defend ourselves self against uh, Persia. So we'll start with the wheel. We're going to get an iron mine, so that'll get boosted. Um, we could even maybe crank out ancient walls. Can we, can we do walls here? Oh, we don't even have the tech yet. All right, well, let's get the wall tech first. Wall tech, then the wheel. And then maybe we can boost things and get to uh, the archery. Crossbow archery reasonably quick. I want to go here. I know it's a dead end. And then this scout, I think it's going to go up and around. Yep. Okay. So now we can finish that guy off. But another chariot. That's annoying. Ooh, we get to heal. This is a very important heal because uh, we'll do more damage. Oh, and there's another one. Damn it. Okay. Stop buying stuff, Victoria. Just die. All right, this will do some amenities. It's very important for us to get that. Oh, we also need the um, irrigation. Maybe we'll get masonry for the walls, irrigation for improvement since we're getting some builders. And then we'll come back along. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to get. Ha. Each of us is carving a stone, erecting a column, or cutting a piece of stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. I'm going to move in the healthier archer, I think. And then the spearman can move back so she can't get a unit there. Okay, yeah. A lot more damage now that we're healed up a little bit. This only adds more gold, but it does give us amenities, so huzzah for that. And then in one turn, we get the silk online. Their borders will grow. It's very, very good. I suppose he's not willing to uh, give us open borders. One gold per turn for open borders? I think that is perfectly fine at this point. 
Um, Russia, you're not on my continent. Would you like horses? You have horses. Let's see if I don't really want to give him horses, but uh, I think I would. If he's well, he doesn't have any money, I guess. All right. Smiter now. Remove the the marsh. I will forget that later. Lol. Hello, you know me too well. Okay, so he's got several cities already. No. I'm sorry, you have to die. Thousands have lived without love. Think this turn, Not maybe? One without water. This nice. severe and afflicting loss All right. not be sustained. Important to end that so that and we can uh, thank Providence have London start growing. It's really again. the only city we took. All right, are we keeping Bristol? I could technically keep them and put a city in over here. It's quite fortified. It has... Uh, harbor already and cliff walls um technically has an okay hansa and commercial hub it's a highly highly productive city you can see all the hills and we don't get a penalty it's already too population now London's reach extends all the way to the stone. Bristol has plenty of other production. You like keeping it? Yeah, I think, I think I'm leaning towards keeping it. It's not bad. It has a ton of production. And if we just move a city over here, we would technically get most of the hills and stuff. But this is pretty fortified. Lots of rough terrain. And it, and it keeps us a, a probably a defensive position that I like here at the moment. So I think I'm cool keeping it. Starts us with a harbor. It's not the world's best harbor, but it's okay. Alrighty. Now, what do we do with our military? We want to keep a couple units here to defend against him. Um, he tends to be aggro, but I also kind of want to move an army. Can deal with everything that's on our continent and at least populate this territory. If I if I focus on this, I think we spread too thin. If I come over here and attack him and then he just tries or bleh, does like a surprise war against us, I mean we're, we could really just we could really just die. So I think the goal is just to uh, to explore, figure out what we're dealing with and then keep our defensive position here. Russia, we know, could come and settle cities on us, and that would be a problem. Oh yeah, we have this, um, we have this bar barb camp we have to deal with. I kind of forgot about that. Awesome. And then we got our builder. Hmm. <laughs> These wonders are so fast. Um, I think what we want to do is actually chop for the granary. The commercial hub's already giving us the bonus to what will be our Hansa, our three-turn Hansa, which is sick. Um, and then what are we working here? That's a crazy tile to work. Oh my goodness. What do we finish? The monument? Oh good. That'll expand our borders, as will this. So they have a seven-turn border growth. Good, 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 good. I don't want to spend money on tiles for this city. It's kind of weak already. Um, and I don't know that I can rush to districts down here. We may just get a builder and get some improvements. Give them a better food base in the fish. Although it's a really slow builder when we can crank them out in our capital. If we give them a builder from our capital, then they can technically do other stuff. So then the other alternative would be just to actually buy this tile or wait seven turns. What can we do with seven turns?
I think the plan is let's have them get their own builder. They'll, their borders will grow naturally, and then we can start a campus for them, and then maybe buy this tile for the Hansa. They're going to need the districts. They're going to need the Hansa pretty darn quick because their production is so, so bad. You like the granary for flat food there? I mean, that's not a bad idea either. 16 turns. You know what? Do we press this button and buy it? We, we do need to baby this city a bit. I know I said I was going to save that for military. But then they grow in four turns. We can add at least more science. In general, I think that's okay. Our gold per turn is not bad either. All right. Um, so since we kept this, let's figure out what we're doing. Technically, a Hansa could go there, and it's plus two. That is also plus two. Either way, we have an awkward commercial hub. Oh, no. This could be the Hansa, right? Yeah. All right. That's how we do it then. So then this is oops, commercial hub for the river bonus Hansa for the plus two plus four Hansa. Um, no great campus here is a bit of a problem. Maybe we have Bristol focus on just being defensive and just commit to that. Like, I think we're going to need walls in both London and Bristol. Also start with a monument. Have them grow into these positions. Um, eight turn builder. Clear that for the Hansa. I think I like that the most. So we also build, if you'll notice, you build your specialty districts um, if you have a unique district in uh, half the time which is part of why Russia is viable for a religious victory because they build their holy site so fast. Uh, we're going to have a hard time next game with Gandhi. It is going to be a very, very difficult task to actually get a religion as, as Gandhi. So, um, everybody can probably heal. This guy, I think we'll take Aerostorm because he's going to be defensive. So killing units is important. I don't think we're going to go aggro and actually take any of these cities, at least not for a long, long time. We have plenty of space that we can just kind of start teching up. Uh, yeah, and I want to improve this silk for them. What tiles are you working? The only ones that we can. Ouch. Ouch, guys. I thought we, we could be friends this game. Not so much. And promotions. Very nice. Um, what are we more worried about? I don't think... Ooh. Yikes. Yikes. Crossbows already. So the iron mine we're going to get pretty quick. Let's do this. So we want to chop and sink that in there. We can finish the granary. That is fine. We want them to grow for sure. And then we can boost our iron mine. Oh, no problem, man. Ask all the questions you can. I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to talk, yeah. Um, you, you need to, in order to win a religious game, and next game is Gandhi, so we are going to try for a religious game. It is really, really hard as Gandhi on deity because it's hard to actually get the religion. So, in order to win, 
you need to be the predominant religion. So if you are the predominant religion, it's followed by more than half the cities of a civilization. And I think that's weighted to include population in it too. I don't think it's sheer number of cities. Like I don't think if you have like four one population cities and there's a 12 population city, I don't think you win by converting on those four. I don't think. I, I could be dead wrong on that, so. Let's go, let's go see if he's got more continent below him. Boy, there's a Petra city in there. With the sheep, Petra sheep on, oh my goodness. Woo, too bad, we already have it. All right, so I think we're leaving a couple bows, maybe three bows, or like two bows and a spearman. What do you have? You have incendiaries, so I want you over here to fight Zanzibar. You have also incendiaries, so you're going to come back as well. And what do you have? You're a three pop with incendiaries as well, so I guess that leaves these two and like um, either a warrior or a spearman. Then we may wind up uh, producing or buying some more archers. Although we are in a weird position where uh, he clearly already has better tech than us. I think this continent ends. Looks like the river tapers off. Ooh. What happened here, dude? Your science is bad. What happened to your science? Why did you get all pillaged over here? Buying traders? Yeah. We do have a couple commercial hubs. Yeah, yeah, we need everything. So, Arrow Storm, yeah. We're going to keep a couple of the Arrow Storms over here. Tell me you have Arrow Storm too. Damn, everybody has incendiaries. I should move you back into our territory to heal. They'll go much faster. Yerevan has Sometimes declared war on Peter. Slowly, That's not good. Turns. Although, okay, they're just suzerain. Somebody is suzerain that we don't know. The other thing we can do is leave this city-state, be happy with the empire we've amassed over here, and, and send envoys to them for science and things. It's not a bad strat either. Okay, um, ironworking we're about to boost in actually two turns. So we have to move. And the next turn we can put a mine in. Mm. Give me more builders. thinking here because this is pretty hard to assault and then maybe like a couple here just heal up there buddy um damn i think we might need to leave the spearman so this only gets us extra gold but it does improve it a little bit five turns to a monument yeah, buying traders would be good. Can maybe save for those now. I think I like the choice of uh, buying them the granary. Yeah, move into our borders and heal. Yeah, I don't want to move too much military away from this because yikes. All right, what's London doing for us? I was thinking about walls. frankly. Certainly a campus district. Hansa. I mean, it's already plus three without any adjacent stuff. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm, I'm nervous about dying. So if we produced walls in seven turns, this would be, this is going to be done next turn. So we'd have to go get construction next, which is actually not something we need. Hmm. Maybe just get their Hanza so that they can produce a crossbowman for us. Walls into traders. Plus three production is nice. It's uh, like a 25% boost. And it starts us along the path of great engineer points. Uh, yeah, I do think we need the walls, though. And then we'll just micromanage this stuff a little bit. Boom, that was iron working, so that's done in a turn. Look at that tile. Mm. good city. It's a really nice Hanzo. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with this guy now. I could go over here and improve this silk. What tiles are you working? It's not bad. We don't want necessarily want to clear our marshes, right? Because we have Lady of the Reeds and Marshes as our uh, as our pantheon. I think we need to get some settlers going. We need this city. Oh my god, we just need so many things. We are at that moment of the game where it's like, I want all the stuff. Amenities. Maybe send them down there. Everybody's happy. We're pretty good on amenities. Gives us an option to trade too, and, it, and trading would uh, improve our relations. Not saying we, we're going to get a good deal, but you know, it's a thing we could do. All right. So this one. Let's see. Guess you're staying here. What Everything is that? has its limit. I and all turn eighty eight the Colossus. It's not one we keep track of. All right, um, we're going to boost this. Means we should maybe get construction. My man. Mm, yeah, I think I want this archer like over here. What are you? Cindyaries. <sighs> Need all the things. Ooh, we do have swordsmen. That could help us fight against uh, a lot of stuff. So maybe we can leave the spearmen, bring the swordsmen, and that would. Hey, that dude, thirteen. How you doing? Thanks for the follow, man. We have two potential swordsmen. It's quite good. Hey, we found the spearman. This is probably spawning ships, is my guess. Um, do we need the luxury, or do we just want another mine? I think we just want another mine. Take advantage of our Petra. He does like us, because we declared surprise war, so that's 
That's at least nice. Shoot again and it should go home. All right, I don't think we want... We could finish the commercial hub and get some traders. You know what? Let's do that. Traders will help so much in new cities because we can run internal trade routes, boost population and production, and get these future cities up and running quite quickly. God, we have a six-turn pyramids. It's uh, tempting. Tempting to say the least. Um, we have a 32 production capital right now. 32. London's at 11. All right, so yeah, I'm glad we bought. So yeah, our food base is just bad. In fact, I think growing is better than the science and the gold right now. One turn will grow there. Don't want to put too much into that city, but it does need some love. It does need some uh, some babying. All right, so these guys are going to stay here. This dude is going to hang out. This archer is also going to hang out, even though it's got incendiaries going. You're going to come along. Yeah, our capital is pretty good. Who knew, man? Petra. Who knew? Although I will say, maybe like world's best Petra in here somewhere. Like if you went here, look at all you would get. Oh, those aren't even desert. Yeah, there's like a, the world's best Petra in there somewhere. Um, I'm afraid of that. So we'll go closer to him. Make him deal with the barbarians. Germany's pretty History good. Is the version of past events that people have decided to agree upon. All right, and then we've got three turns to walls. Um, let's take a look. We don't need to run this anymore. Could get some extra science. Production in all cities does seem good. Builders also seems good. Um, could start with scientist points. Lots of different things we can do here. I think let's just run colonization. World's best Petra was the natural wonder game plus Petra. That was a pretty good. It was a pretty good city. We we earned that city. Your your advice, Dachile. Like we we were, we were about to load previous things because that was so so close. Like we almost lost to what was it china they like should have been able to take our capital but dachile was my he was my rock and he's like i think you'll live i think just press that next turn button and i was like fine i'll press the next turn button and we lived and all was well in the world that was that was a really fun game it's a really fun part of that game too All right, um, so we've got recorded history. We can take our bonuses as we need them. Uh, we could also go now for for limes. I like that. It, it's just limes, guys. Sorry. China did almost ruin it. I agree. Um, this will be nice, too. So maybe we do go this. Maybe we can get some walls. And it works us towards feudalism, which is really, really nice. I love running serfdom and feudalism. We just get so much out of it. And then meritocracy. Yeah, these this like quadrant is really, really good er, early social policies. Hey, Ebus, how you doing, man? Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. All right. Um, we have a bunch of decisions to make. I am going to put a brief cut in the old video here, and we'll come back. We'll, we'll keep working on expanding colonization. Zanzibar is a bunch of horses that we are going to have to kill. So it will be a good time. I'm going to put a brief cut in. We'll be right back. <laughs> 